Hello and welcome to Southern National. We are in the late model fixed series. Tonight, we've got a night race. And we're headed out for qualifying. As usual, I'm not I'm not too great in this car. Push, all right, but we've got two laps to set a decent time. Oh, you know what I just re I just realized I did not set my settings the way I wanted them. Because I was just about to talk about them. Uh, I'm actually going to go pretty absurd here. I'm going to go all the way down on the steering ratio. Nope, don't touch that. And all the way down on the brake balance. Because I don't feel like I'm getting loose on braking. So get as much turn as I can. And I feel like I don't turn the wheel enough, to be honest. Clear. Push, push, on these push. short tracks, I feel like I just uh, I don't get enough turn. So I'm going to try it. I was getting some better laps in practice doing that, so we'll see how it turns out. Probably not good for tire saving, but I've, I'm never going to be able to do that at a short track anyway, so. Uh, I'll probably qualify pretty poorly, if I had to guess. Lots of fast guys in here that aren't me. <laughs> so, we'll see what we get. P4, ideally I'd start on the inside, but... We'll, we'll see what happens. Like I said, I don't expect to do all too well. So, uh, first lap was better for me. I'm just, I'm not very fast. That's just the, the long story and the short story. So, uh, 2.7 strength of field is not too bad. We are the three, and we've got uh, Justin Brooks in here. I, I think, I guess that's one of his alts, maybe. He's got like five accounts, and they all have like 10,000 <laughs> 10, I rating on Oval. So, as, as far as I can tell, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. But uh, anytime I see the name Justin Brooks, I'm like, oh, that's that guy that has 10,000 I rating and is going to lap the field. So, you see, he's, he's a tenth and a half faster than even the second place person. Oh my god, the cat is attacking the rug. Stop it. Stop. No. Stop. He really wants to mess with the rug, apparently. You gotta leave me alone, man. I'm trying to do some race car. They said I was crazy bringing my cat in the car with me, but, you know, if, uh... If in the olden days they could bring monkeys in the car, then, uh... I think I can bring my cat. So. <laughs> anyway, we will get this camera ready for later. Hopefully we'll be able to get started here soon. Ah, uh, we got someone that's not in here. I hate when that happens. Hey, stop. You are being a menace right now. I swear he gets extra annoying as soon as I hit record. Like, he'll go over to the litter box across the room and drop a big one right when I'm about to hit record or right when I'm, like, started. And it's like, and then I gotta smell that the whole race. And then he'll start attacking the rug for the first time all week. I'm about to banish him. <laughs> banish him from this room. But hopefully it'll be okay. So, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm going to do this, like, steering ratio thing. Give it a try. See if it helps me get any speed. Um, who knows? I just I want to try something because I'm usually pretty slow. Uh, I've won one race in the late model, and that was at Phoenix, which was, like, way too big for this car. <laughs> so uh, it was basically a mile and a half race. So that explains why I wasn't as terrible as usual. But... Got about a minute left here since we're waiting on the 9, who I guess is just not going to show up. It doesn't even look like they dropped out or anything, like they just haven't shown up at all, so kind of wish I just continued to run the track, but oh well. Got the uh, bookmarks, of course, I'm sure. If anybody didn't want to wait around, they've already clicked on it. That's what they're there for. We've got about 35 more seconds. So. Um, I, like, I, I did the brake bias all the way back, because like I said, I don't feel like, you know, famous last words, I don't feel like I'm going to end up spinning myself on braking, because the brakes are pretty weak in this car. I think if I'm going to spin myself, it's going to be because I overdrive it on entry, so, you know, if I'm already making sure I don't do that, then I don't think I have to worry about the brakes being a problem. So, all right. We are ready to go here. 
Where did I end up? Eighth. That's the end of Ugh. the session. P8. Not very good. I'm gonna try to stay out of trouble. Mm. You're on the outside this time. Keep road. Try to get in right line. Now. I feel like you probably can hold on on the outside pretty decently here, but I don't think it's where you want to be by any means. That's just a guess. This is obviously the first time I've done this this week. I think I've done this combo before, but I definitely don't feel experienced by any means with this. Alright. I was a little bit concerned by some things I saw in the open practice before qualifying, and uh, some of the things that were concerning me were committed by people that are starting ahead of me. So, that's a little scary, particularly with no cautions. Uh, hopefully you don't have to deal with that. But if something does happen, hopefully I can get around it and get some spots, because I don't know how many spots I'm going to get otherwise. I think we might have to wait the full time since that one guy's not here. Is that how it works? Or is it everybody that's in the session? We can go. Not sure. Hey, at least that's one person we'll beat, the person that didn't show up. So, there's a, there's a pass I can make. I'm capable of doing that. I can make that pass. I've been trying some new things with the audio lately. Honestly, I think I just made it worse. But I've been re trying really hard to get rid of my squeaky pedal noise because it's annoying me in real life, and I know it's got to annoy people listening to. But I just I can't get the audio the way I want it. I've been trying a thousand things, and uh, even a couple new things this time. Trying to dampen the, the track temp is noise. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. P8. It is what it is. I don't wear headphones when I race, I'm, that's uncomfortable to me, so you also get Follow kind of like, zero, seven. In the outside kind of weird audio sometimes, and uh, I don't know, it is what it is, hopefully it's not unreasonable. Kind of tried to balance the, uh, you know, game audio and my audio a little bit better too, I felt like I could have had the, uh, you know, I can have the race car noises a little louder, oh my gosh, look at them go, they're going wild up there. <laughs> Warming those tires up. I hope I survive this race. Even if I'm slow, I hope I can at least survive and just have to have a good uh, run. Maybe have someone around me at least that I can compete with. They are almost rear-ending each other there. Oh boy. About to go green. Stay focused. Okay, okay guys, got a bump draft in the corner. That's cool. Clear. Car inside. Keep high. Clear. Inside. B7. Still there. Clear. Outside. Oh god, I am like nearly getting hit from every direction it feels like. We're checked up really bad on this bottom line. Alright, taking it easy. We got a little bit of space to work with. 14, man. We're outside. Whew. Good luck. That's your quickest today. The car in front is just posted at 14.9. Right. Seventh position. Little settled down now. We are checked up so bad on this bottom line. Oh no. Go What is happening below me? Clear. Car inside. Clear inside. P6. I, uh, I feel like I avoided death like a thousand times already this race. Not even entirely sure what's happening around me with my single monitor, but it's probably for the best. I'd probably die from anxiety poisoning. We got one behind you, Austin. Do that again. 
I... Okay. I was asking if you had room behind you. You've just done a... Yeah, what up? Gotta hit my marks. I'm not very fast, but... You better get a move on. <laughs> Let me get you. Sixth place. Alright. Got a lot of space ahead of me. Some guys that are much faster. Side by side up there. You've just done a 15.0. So seven looping it? V6. You got really, really loose, that's for sure. But he caught it. And then he hit the wall. <laughs> He's having some issues at the moment. Not quite there. Can I get him on exit? Nah. He's having some serious issues though. Try to find a way to get on his inside, yeah, maybe. But, low. Uh, time was at stop down low. What am I gonna see around this corner? I, I don't know. I guess it cleared out. Five when you get to me, I'm. Uh, time was I'm one, one. One. So I'll just Seven's kind of uh, figured it out a little bit. Kind of uh, smoothed out. What he had going on there, seems like, so. Feeling okay. Your last lap time was Never drove it there, zero. though. I'm not gonna run into the back of you, so don't worry about me. Kinda had to slow down for him there. Oh, is he let me go? Or did he <laughs> overdrive it? Okay, Colton. Cup times are pretty consistent. Still there, hold your line. Outside, clear. <laughs> Car outside. There, hold your I don't think he, I think he overdrove it because he's Still he's there. fighting it. You've just done a 15.2. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside if you want it. All right, we made the pass. All right, I feel pretty good about that. I don't make many passes <laughs> in the in these uh, short track races or in this car. So all right, that makes me happy. Hopefully we can pull away. I felt like I was maybe a little bit faster than he is, but um, I was also using him as a reference point, so we'll see what we can do. Lap traffic ahead. He seems kind of fast, though. I think he might have just had trouble early on, so he's probably pretty fast. Just ended up uh, behind a little bit. Five, a top five would be great. I'd be very happy with that. Even if I am the three. Whew, this is tough. This is sweaty racing, that's for sure. All short tracks are for me, to be fair, but... Ooh, I missed my mark there. That was really bad. Don't overdrive. Don't hit the apron. Oh my god, now I'm falling apart. No idea if my tires are like in horrible shape right now or something. Probably. But try to keep on top of it. I think I gotta make sure I'm on the brakes a little bit more. I feel like I'm overdriving. And it's making me lose time, center, and exit. Just past halfway. The gap ahead is now. 11, I'm uh, 
Just hold my ground here, I'm not gonna run into you. Just don't, don't worry about me, go get the guy in front. <laughs> Guess it's nice of the eight cars say that. I feel like that is kind of a given. But. He's being a nice lap car and reassuring the guy, so that's nice. Reassure him, tell him you're not gonna try to pass him. Apron. Didn't lose too much time though, I think. Whew. It'd be great if they battled for a while behind us here. Gave us some ground. A little bit less pressure on me if they were to do that. The gap in front is now 1.2. That was uh, 15.3. I'm feeling kind of okay though. About four tens ahead of the guy behind. Kinda of feeling like I'm in a rhythm. Feels good. Thank you. Trying to get on get on the gas early enough. I tend to under underdo it in these cars, I think. When it comes to the gas, because they're so low powered. But, I, of course, the last thing I want to do is end up in the wall. We got a new guy behind us. The seven has been passed, so we'll see if this new guy comes and catches me. Oh, a little bit of the... the not the curb, but the uh, apron again. Seems like if you just barely kind of clip it, you can kind of get away with it. I don't want to be playing with that fire, though. Yeah, I think this 10 might be coming to get me. A little bit concerned about that. When you get to me, I'll uh, let you by. Yeah. I'm almost in a uh, battle for position, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop you. All right, appreciate that. Lap times are pretty consistent. He's being cool. I guess it's good to announce your intentions. If you got a radio, use it for good instead of evil, I guess. <laughs> Don't spin in front of me, though. <laughs> he got pretty sideways, there, it looked like. for that loose is getting center. I don't want him to go fully around. Outside. Clear outside. Nice. Thanks, man. You got it. Yeah, so he's cool. He's cool. Ooh, I pushed pretty hard there, actually. On exit. That was not good. Alright, gather it up, man. Gather it up. Oh, wow, that tin's really coming. I gotta go. I am gonna need a breather after this one. I really gotta fight this car around here. Oh wow, this guy's coming fast. He say tires or something? Why is he so quick? Or am I just falling off hard and not realizing it? 
It's only a little bit to go. Seven, if you get to me, the spot is yours. Ten four, thank you. The gap in front is now not point nine. Two more, let's go. Oh man, I'm really focusing. I really like this top five. Top five sounds a lot better than top six. Thank you, eight. Yep. Okay, one to go. White flag, last lap. Car inside. Don't wreck me, please. Okay, we're good. Ooh, that was sweaty. That's the finish. Well done. There's the flag. It's over. Good job. Very good job. Can't just stop in the track, dude. I hope that didn't count for safety rating. Okay, good. It didn't. All right, top five. That was a wow. That was a. That was a tough one. Had to work hard for that. Like, to 11. I mean, these cars do not have good brakes. <laughs> and we've got someone else stopping in the middle of the track. <laughs> he already left, so I'm sure he knew it was an accident. 82, 85. So probably not good on the right front, I guess. I'm not sure what other guys are getting, but that's fine. We'll see the incidents. It was really, really scary off the start. I don't know why I got such a bad... Oh, it's just because this guy maybe jumped to start? No, I'm just bad. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was a third gear start. I had it in second gear. And I kind of like... I saw... I saw the guy going. And I was going. And then the 7 wasn't going, so I kind of had to like... Break my momentum. I think that's kind of where I went wrong. Because you can see, I see him going, I'm going, but the 7 wasn't going. I just broke my momentum, I guess. And the 8 just <laughs> hits me in behind, I guess. Oh well. 7 gets the wall just a tiny bit. Not much going on there. Five into the wall. Oh, here's a uh, here's where we had a wreck. So the four is diving it in, and he just goes in a little hard, maybe. Yeah, a little too hard, and trying to get his nose on him. But that actually that didn't turn into much, really. It's just a single car incident there. And we got a little bit of more wall. Okay, here's where things go bad for some people. Maybe? Okay, still just the 14. 14 got sent around by the 13. Yeah, it looks like 14 got kind of sideways mid-corner. And then the 13 caught up to him. And here's what happened in the 8. These are all just single car incidents for the most part. And the one person that uh, sent someone around. So far it seems everyone else is just their own worst enemy. Fourteen. Having some trouble. Maybe he's got some damage right there making it drive weird. Kind of looks a little all over the place. And then probably just going to get a bunch of wall for a while. I don't know if we're going to get much else. What do we have here? Nope. More wall, I think. Not even real wall. That was pretend wall. Here's the 10 that almost came and got me at the end. I thought for sure he was going to catch me and then run in the back of me or something, but... And right along, we've got the leader. Justin Brooks won, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. Ooh, six gets loose and overcorrects into the wall. Oh, that was the end of the race. 
So, yeah, pretty darn clean. Uh, it seems like most of these races are. Yeah, I don't know why that guy just stopped in the middle. Yeah, I'm sorry I ran into him, but also, like... Kind of wanted to do, like, a cooldown. And he just kind of... First of all, I kind of get stuck in this single lane because there's another person stopping in the middle of the track, and then he just slams on his brakes right there. <laughs> Whatever. Obviously, it doesn't count for anything, so it doesn't matter, but... Oh well. So, top five. I'll lose about five-ish I rating. Basically just breaking even though. And uh, I'm very happy with that actually. Um, that's why I, I gotta ignore I rating. It's so like discouraging. Like I feel like I had such a great run, got a top five, and then it, it makes me lose <laughs> I rating. So that's why I try to ignore it. Because uh, I'm very happy with that run. I think I did a fine job keeping, it, keeping my cool as the 10 was running me down. So... Uh, that'll do it though here southern national i hope you enjoyed i had a pretty good race i uh enjoyed myself and i was only 12 seconds behind justin brooks <laughs> so that's something i will see you next time and i hope you have a good one